celebrity capital of the world, it's Hollywood Squares, starring Kathy Lee Gifford, Jason Alexander, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Joan Rivers, Jeff Corwin, Mr. Ed's Alan Young, comedian Louise Duarte, and our center square, Martin Mall. And your host, Tom Bergeron. Thank you very much, John Machino. Welcome to another thrill-packed installment of Hollywood Squares. What are you guys up to? You're all laughing amongst yourselves down there. <laughs> Give it up for yourselves. You've been a great audience so far today, even though we're only in our first minute. Let's welcome back our, our returning champion. He's got $24,076 in cash and trips from gym membership. Matt Hendricks, welcome back, Matt. Yeah. Challenging you in the circle position is Jamie Sherrill. Welcome back, Thank Jamie. You. Good to see you, Thank too. You. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, now, remember yesterday uh, we were in the midst of our first game in our best two out of three match. The board looked remarkably <laughs> like this. All right, and uh, Matt, our defending champion, it was your turn. Alan Young, please. Alan Young! Check out the DVD, The Best of Mr. Ed. Alan, a lawyer. Oh, you've got it right there. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't mean we were going to check it out like now. I mean, after the... I travel with it. Oh, good. Good. A lawyer catches his wife with the mailman, moves back to his hometown to run a bowling alley in the TV show called what? Oh, <laughs> Ed. I'll agree. Ed. Yes, that's right. X gets the square, Jamie. Kathy Griffin for the block, please. Kathy, catch your Bravo special, The B List, airing this month. Kathy, what is, uh, what's the reason? <laughs> I still, boy. I still got it, Tom. No still kidding, huh? got it. <laughs> What's the reason a woodpecker pecks a hole into wood? Because stucco would hurt its beak. <laughs> um, a woodpecker pecks holes into wood to, uh, I'm assuming, to, to store food. I will disagree. To make a nest. Circle gets a block there. All right, Matt. Kathy Lee Gifford for the block. Kathy Lee Gifford, get Kathy Lee's book, Gentle Grace in stores, May 4th. <laughs> Kathy Lee, aside from pharmaceuticals, what's the top seller at pharmacies? I, I don't know. I, I, guess, I guess cosmetics. I'll agree. Nope, uh, cigarettes. Awesome. Cigarettes. I uh, can't give you that really? one, Jamie. You have cigarettes. to earn it yourself. Kathy Lee Gifford for the win, please. All right, for the win and $1,000. <laughs> Kathy Lee, India's Maharaja of Jungad once had a separate room, servant, and phone for each of his hundreds of what? Camels. He was... Oh, it's true. It's true. The man revered and worshipped his camels. I will disagree. It's almost as weird. His dogs. His dog <laughs> circle gets the square and the win for $1,000. Right now, we're going to go into a $1,000 secret square game. Let's find out what's in the secret square stash. Ready, set, relax. It's a Southwestern spa vacation. You and a guest will spend five luxurious days at the spectacular Enchantment Resort in Sedona, Arizona. Enjoy junior suite accommodations with panoramic views of the majestic Red Rock Canyons, plus fine dining at Yavapai, a relaxing treatment at Miyamo Destination Spa, and activities for any interest. Enchantment Resort, experience the extraordinary. Thank you, John. Let's show all of you at home who the secret square is. All righty. Uh, Jamie, you won the first game, so you start this one. I'm going to start with Martin Mull, please. All right, Martin, here we go. In the song, what's uh, knotted, polka dotted, twisted, beaded, braided, powdered, flowered, confetti, bangle, tangled, spangled, and spaghetti? Well, it's just in the design stages right now, <laughs> but it's Martha Stewart's prison cell. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a song? Yeah. So that, all those things rhyme with something. That's quite amazing. Um, it's got to be hair. 
I will disagree. It's Hair. Oh. Yeah, from the musical Hair. Yeah. That's right. X gets that one, Matt. Uh, Joan Rivers, please. Joan Rivers. Her classic collections are only on QVC or on her. All right. You'd like to visit the U.S. state with the fewest people. Where do you go? A Michael Bolton concert. Uh, <laughs> Just kidding, he's a very good friend. <laughs> or was. Uh, uh, I know because I played there and the ODI <laughs> love me. Uh, it's a gorgeous state. Nobody lives there. Stupid. Wyoming. I'll agree. Wyoming, that's right, X. <laughs> Gets the square. We get a break. We'll come right back with more after this. Stick around. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. We are back, and we're in a secret square game, and our challenger, Jamie Sherrill, your turn. Jason Alexander for the Black All League. right, Jason, here we go. Jason, why, uh, why is one cabinet member chosen to miss the president's annual State of the Union address? Somebody's got to get the beer and the hookers. <laughs> <laughs> The president comes off the State of the U, he's charged up, he's yeah. ready to go. Um, uh, I believe, particularly in these troubled times, you don't want the entire chain of command for our nation, the president, the vice president, the, the you know, uh, secretary of state, in the same room at the same time. So somebody is left out for security purposes. Okay. I will agree. Yeah, in case of a catastrophe, there's someone around to succeed. Yeah, Circle gets the block. Alan Young, please. Alan Young. All right, Alan. According, uh, according to a new documentary, what character from the Austin Powers movies does President Bush like to imitate? Somebody's got to be serious around here. <laughs> Mini me. I'll disagree. Dr. Evil. <laughs> X gets the square, Jamie. Kathy Griffin for the block, please. Kathy, all right, here we go. <laughs> to, uh, to prop up his popularity as he turns 75, portraits of him will be painted on the sides of buildings all over Los Angeles. Who is he? Schwarzenegger? <laughs> <laughs> oh, those have already been painted. All right, I'm going to say Hugh Hefner. I will disagree. Mickey Mouse. Well, how could Mickey you? Mouse. Oh. Circle gets a block. Matt. Kathy Lee Gifford for the block. All right, Kathy Lee. I would have gone to Jeff to try to win, but we'll see how this, uh, fine, this works really. out. Okay. What can be high or low, spring or neap? My estrogen levels. <laughs> That lady is menopausal, you can tell. Why, <laughs> um, because she strangled the guy next to her? Yeah. <laughs> Worst things have happened. Um, <laughs> uh, I believe it's um, mattresses. Okay. I disagree. Tides. Tides. X gets a block there. All right, Jamie. <laughs> I'm going to go with Jeff Corrin, please. Oh, uh, well, secret square. Jeff Corrin. The... Before we get to the secret square, from my from this distance, Jeff, it looks like you're you're handling the forehead of a Klingon. What? Well, <laughs> this is you can see this is a red tag you from South America. His, he's got a very well endowed chin right here. Yeah. His his name's Ron. <laughs> I won't. So uh, he's just this awesome gigantic lizard that's right now using me as a heating pad. Okay. All right. And has sort of a Gene Simmons tongue thing going Isn't on. Isn't that too, cool, yeah. huh? Uh, a little visual help here as we go into the Hollywood Squares yearbook, Jeff. Uh, this early photo is of a well-known musical star. Is he Little Richard, Johnny Mathis, or Chuck Berry? I am going to have to say that looks like Johnny Mathis to me. Mm -hmm. I will agree. Chances are you're right. Yes, yeah. uh, Johnny Mathis, circle. Yeah. Yes, we got a break. We'll be right back with more right after this. Stick around. consideration furnished by the following. Hey, welcome back to Hollywood.
Million Squares. We love to hear from you. Give our toll-free number a call, 591-5020. You may hear your own comments at the end of one of our shows. Uh, Matt, I believe it was your turn. Is Freeman Abdul-Jabbar for the win. For the win and a tie game, if you get it. All right, Kareem. What can I do for you? Are your bones <laughs> white? Yes, they are white. I will agree. No, they're beige to light brown and bleached for museums and science labs. I did not uh, did not know that. Circle gets a block there. Jamie? I will go with Louise Duar, please. For the five square, oh, actually for a three in a row in the old fashioned way. By, by the way, is that the, that's yes, the, Tom. the book the that new you co-authored with Squire Rushnell? Squire Rushnell, yeah. When God Winks on Love. Wonderful love stories. If you haven't found love in your life, this is the book. Very nice, all right, okay. All right, Louise, this will be for the championship, uh, if you get it, Jamie. On The View, mm -hmm. Barbara Walters shocked the audience when she admitted, I like to look at what? Oh, my goodness, what would you like to look at? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me think. Okay, I'm going to say something crazy. Naked women. <laughs> I will agree. Naked women, yes, yeah, circle, get the square, and the win. All right, man. So we have to say goodbye, but you leave us with a total of twenty-four thousand seventy-six dollars. A lot of trips and all that included. But you have fun. Jamie, Thank congratulations. You, so you are Thank our new you. champion. Want to play the bonus round? Yes. I was hoping you'd say that. Up to now, we found out a bit about what the stars know. Here, Jamie, is where we find out how much you know about them. Okay. <laughs> Jamie, take a look over here at these nine keys. Only one of them opens our blushing steamer trunk, in which we have a trip to where? Mamma mia, it's a trip to Italy! Colette Vacations takes you and a guest to the spectacular city of Florence, Italy. Explore chapels, palaces, museums, and galleries filled with exquisite masterpieces. Colette Vacations, where the difference is the experience. Visit ColetteVacations.com. It's a vacation to remember. Thank you, John Regina. All right, Jamie, you know the drill. You pick a square. I'll read a statement about that star. If you agree or disagree correctly, you've won the square. At the end of 30 seconds, for every square you've won, we take away a bad key. And that clock starts ticking when you pick your first star. Kathy. Did a USO tour of Af Afghanistan. Agree. Right, next. Alan. Start of the movie Aaron Slick from Punkin Crick. Agree. Right, next. Jones. Was born a natural blonde. Disagree. Wrong, next. Kathy. Was profiled in the book Swinging Chicks of the 60s. Agree. Wrong, next. Martin. Has never been in the state of Minnesota in his life. Disagree. Right, next. Kareem. Trained with the U.S. Olympic bobsled team. Disagree. Right, next. Jason. Never graduated but holds a doctorate from BU. Agree. Right, next. Jeff. Is related to Vlad the Impaler or Dracula. Disagree. Wrong, next. Louise. Hosted a game show on Lifetime. Oh, out of time, but not bad. Let's go. Oh, I'm here. so sorry, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> right in 30 seconds. Let's take away five of the bad ones. One of those four keys is the key to Italy. No. Uh. All right. This. All right. Good luck. All right. Wish me luck. Good luck. You got $15,078 in cash and trip. You ready to uh, defend your championship? Yes. All right, good. I hope so. When we come back, we'll meet Jamie's challenger right after this. Stick around. There's a lot of laps to go, so stay tuned. Welcome back.
back. Jamie is still basking in her freshly won trip and planning uh, her journey to Italy. But here to try to take the championship away is a new Mr. X in the person of Keith Kamir. Hi, Keith. How are you? Nice to meet you. Good. Yes, you did. Come All here. right. Tell us about yourself. All right. I'm originally from Nashua, New Hampshire, and I served four years in the United States Air Force. And two days ago, I got married to the love of my life in Vegas, and that's Angela, and she's sitting in the audience. All right. Wonderful. Two days ago. That's 48 hours. That means he's eight hours away from breaking Britney's record. That's right. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. In order to become champion, you have to win two out of three tic-tac-toe games, all right? You have to decide if the answers you're getting are correct or the stars are just making them up. That's how you get the squares. As the challenger, you begin the first $1,000 game. All right, let's start with Martin Mull, please. All right, Martin, Thank you. here we go. It is, a, it is a Japanese superstition that if you lie down after doing this, you'll become a cow. Doing what? Eating a bale of hay. <laughs> no, I think, uh, I don't think the Japanese diet is too big on dairy products. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen anything uh, dairy on a Japanese menu. So I would say probably drinking milk. I'll agree. No, eating. Just generally eating virtually anything if you, if you lie down insane. after. that's insane. Become... <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> circle gets the square there. Jamie. I'll go with Kathy Griffin, please. <laughs> All right, Kathy Griffin. There we go. In the, uh, in the classic Christmas special, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, mm -hmm. who's Rudolph's daddy? Oh, next on Springer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I've been a big fan. I'll go with Blitzen. <laughs> <laughs> Disagree. Donner, he of the great party. Oh, Donner, Donner I mean, yeah, so uh, Circle gets that one. Keith. All right, let's go with Louise Duarte for the block. Please. For the block, all right, Louise, here we go. What 86-year-old just started a newspaper column called, And That's the Way I See It? Oh, and that's... Will have to be Walter Cronkite. I agree. <laughs> you don't hear a lot of Walter Cronkite impressions anymore. I, I, it's I a agree. Walter Cronkite. That, that's correct. Yeah, that's right. X gets the block. Jamie? Jason Alexander. Jason Alexander, who recently went to the Middle East as part of the One Voice Peace Initiative. Jason, in London's Trafalgar Square, this popular tourist activity is now illegal. Anyone caught doing it is slapped with an $85 fine. What is it? Screaming, we kicked your ass in the Revolutionary War! They <laughs> frown on it. They have no sense of humor. They just, uh, 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 there's a big fountain in the square, and I believe people go traipsing through the fountain, and it is frowned upon now. Okay. I will agree. No, feeding the pigeons is also uh, frowned upon. Also that's frowned what, yeah, upon. Yeah, uh-huh. X gets that one, Keith. All right, let's go with Jeff Corwin for the win. Jeff place. Corwin, his first book, Living on the Edge, is in stores now. Or in a square. What is that green? This, this is the book Living thing. on the Edge, and this is the chameleon hanging off the edge yeah. right there. Ah. I learned that from Michael. <laughs> so how many different colors can it uh, change? He can turn black, green, all sorts of colors. An extraordinary animal when it comes to blending. And this is the four-horned chameleon because he has four horns in the top of his head. There you go. There you go. All right. Uh, he's yellow, works as a fry cook at the Krusty Krab, and is a big hero to kids. Who is he? Gosh, I'm going to have to say, God, what is the name of that guy? <laughs> uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. I'll disagree. SpongeBob SquarePants, that's right. <laughs> Circle gets that one. We are out of time. That means when we join you at the start of tomorrow's show, we'll pick up this game from exactly this point. That gives you almost a whole day to plot your next move, Jamie. Great. All right. I'm it. Don Bergeron. Join us with all the stars for Hollywood Squares when we come back. See you then. I'm John Machida, the voice of Hollywood Squares, saying good night. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. I got a buddy up here. Adam, why don't you come on up? Adam's from Ohio, and Adam's an animal lover. So, Adam, I'm going to show you how to skin a chinchilla, okay? First thing you do is you grab it by the head and go, no, we wouldn't do that. No. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, guys, very much.